hey y'all it's Rob I'm gonna show you something right quick a little bit of redneck rain collection here a couple of days ago I got our barrels hooked up kind of redid them a little bit see if I can do this without getting my camera rained on too much but you can see we just got a little bit of gutter right here on the front of the house and we rigged it up where it drops down into this barrel and it's just barely sprinkling right now but it rained pretty good a couple of minutes ago we got I looked in the gauge and we got just barely over a tenth of an inch maybe two tenths if, if you got it real good but here's what we got we got two 40 gallon barrels that I tied together at the bottom with a piece of one inch PVC and threaded it in and sealed it off real good and I'm happy to see it doesn't look like there's any leak going on down there at least not much so that's a good thing so that tenth and a half of an inch of rain fifteen hundredths got both barrels because they're hooked together and so the barrels are going to fill up at the same rate that way now and you probably can't tell by looking in there but I can I cut myself off now we're going to see if I can learn how to splice a video or not we're going to see if we can look down in there and see where the water is inside there and so both barrels are about three quarters of the way full they're 40 gallon barrels so that means we've got about 60 gallons of water maybe a little bit better right now and then when it gets full it'll overflow into this right here now that water as you can tell isn't real pretty in fact it's kind of yucky but that's okay this is just used for watering plants that's all this barrel right here is for now it's doing pretty good it's dripping where it's supposed to and this is an old gutter that we've had up here for a long time and it's got beat up many times and right here a minute ago we had ourselves a leak coming down right there now it sealed itself up a little bit but it'll probably get to going more there's a drop of water on the lens but it'll probably get to dropping a little bit more as it starts raining heavier which it's about to do but I'm going to take you up right quick on the roof and show you something y'all just bear with me a second here it won't take me but a second to get up there and I'll show you what happened we have a low spot in the gutter because I adjusted it the other day but I didn't put a level on it and so right there where that dirt is is where our low spot is which isn't all bad that means it collected some of the dirt that would have gotten in there anyway so I'll have to fix that but you can see kind of how it washed some of the dirt out off the top of the house into the gutter and then here where it has to come up a little bit higher to get into the barrels the dirt settled out so that's not a terrible thing that's the same way that a first flush diverter system works also you can tell as I stand here it lowers that down a little bit and so the water speeds up but that's my simple red redneck I guess water collection back on the back side here is where we've got the big tank that I've been working on and it's not all hooked up yet much to my wife's chagrin you can see down there where I've got the valve topped out the bottom and I've got a water hose in there right now because I learned the hard way that with that tank sitting two or three feet down in a hole like that if we get a real hard rain and there's no water in the tank guess what that tank floats real well and so after I bribed a couple of buddies to come over and help me get that thing down in the hole and level out one day because I understand procrastination <laughs> we got a good rain that floated kind of back out and crooked I fixed that one by myself won't be long for I'm gonna be too old to do stuff like that anyway that's what's happening just thought I'd share that with you